YouTubers and welcome to another Amazon Web Services tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to talk about Amazon System Manager. So what is System Manager? It's a, it's a service that helps you automatically collect software, inventory, apply OS patches, create system images and configure, configure your, your Windows and Linux operating system. Uh, it will help you track your configuration and with your overall organization of your Amazon infrastructure. The best thing about it, guys, is free. So let's go ahead and see how we can set up that, how we can integrate that with our current infrastructure, and you can also manage your Amazon infrastructure with it. Also, the external infrastructure. Let's say you have an on-premises server that you want to do it with. So first of all. You're going to go to the EC2 page and uh, going down and choose the system manager services. Uh, this web interface is giving you some options, the same management instance, they'll give you the same uh, interface. So let's see how we can run a shell command through, the, through this uh, service. Just type word shell and going down, you choose the run shell script with uh, on a Linux operational system and then select the instances. You see, we can have we, we see we have two running instances, but uh, we can we cannot select any of those at the moment because we have to integrate them with the service before we do that. So, how do we do that? There you go, and this uh, short script. Uh, you have integrated the uh, agent that will manage this for us. So you can copy that from the AWS page and the only thing you want to do, make sure it's uh, change the region to apply to yours. In my case, I'm on the Southeast uh, 2 and that's how my command is going to look like in order to install it. So we're going to download the RPM and then install SIG uh, sequentially the RPM pretty straightforward doesn't need too much um, work to be not to be done at this point and as you can see we can check the um, check the agent version and you see it got successfully installed now we need to set up the set up the the agent this uh, screen check the status of it so just to notice that you guys the agent was started by himself because he would not know to which management service he needs to connect to so as you can see there's an error message there failing to load instance from both registering required so what we need to do here we need to choose activation from the option list in the system manager so what we're going to do here we're going to say create activation give it a name in this case i'm going to say linux ec2 you can create a group of instances that can be embedded in this um, activation and let's say yeah, manage. We're gonna take ten instances. This is just for testing and use a role that was created by default. This role can be embedded with uh, an instance at the start time or create time. You have to give it an uh, activation expiry date. Uh, maximum of 30 days so as you can see here if we put uh, more than this he's gonna cry or oh, must be in the future and could not be more than 30 days into the future so what that means is that you create an activation and this activation will ins will expire within that period if it's not being used so there you go you will see your keys here activation keys make sure you copy those because we're gonna use them next in this uh, create uh, management activation using those keys so the command is using the agent installation that we did 
it's Amazon FSS agent register pasting the code the ID of the activation ID and the region in which you are operating your machine just copy that command I'll paste in the command in the video uh, description so then uh, it says that this instance was already registered which I did it before uh, we don't mind registering it again and if you check the next thing what you want to do after we register we want to start the agent now let's check the status of the agent and see if it's working and there you go we get a green light light and this is working now let's go back and try to do the exact same thing we did at the beginning and try to run the command so look again for the shell command because this is just for testing purposes there are a bunch of options there that are very useful so as you can see we already have a target instance and the instance ID gets a different ID than the or our original instance because right now it's a managed instance it's no longer um, an EC2 instance if you look at it as an instance it's a managed instance so let's try now to run a command and say we create a file called test.txt and we're gonna write something into it there this is a test and I pipe it into it this if we are right should be should happen in the operational system without us logging in we don't have to specify none of those not at this moment um, the nice part about it is that uh, Amazon gives you this uh, commands if you want to run it in Windows and PowerShell command prompt or Linux in this case it's going to be run if it's uh, on, a, on an AWS client and there you go we had we had successfully run the command or at least that's what the the web interface tells us and that's the command that he run uh, it says it's a success but let's see now the operational system if it really was successful back to temp and there you go we have a file called file txt let's see the count of it make sure that that's the file and this is a test all right guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and like and subscribe there's many features to this command uh we're gonna go over it in the future all right you guys take care